I got a question from one of my subscribers and that's he wants to actually start working remotely but he has bad internet he can't afford really good internet his speed isn't the best so he can't really do video calls that good it lags and um he downloads stuff and it's just very slow now well what i would say is that with remote work you need good internet you need to be able to Skype efficiently. Um, you need to be able to Skype, so a video call, and also work on your stuff at the same time. There's times that you have to do pair programming. You have to do a, um, a Skype video call, or you have to display your screen to the other person and code at the same time. Maybe download a file at the same time. So you have to do a few things at the same time. Usually, like download something, watch a video, and uh, uh, show your screen to another person on Skype or Hangouts, something like that. Well, what I would say is that Spring for the Internet, um, for one option, Spring for the Internet right now, it will pay for itself later on, you know, a, a remote job, even, even if you got paid the same amount for a remote job versus a, a uh, physical job at office, same pay, but you don't have to drive anymore to the office, that saves gas, saves money. You know, um, uh, anything, um, you, you can put things in your taxes, like your, your internet bill, your, um, if you have a home office, uh, stuff in your tax bills, and it will actually save you money, and with that money you can buy the, the internet. You can put things like your, um, maybe your phone bill, if you use your phone for, um, for work and stuff, but, uh, yeah, it's spring for the, the internet, but, what if you're in a bad neighborhood or a bad bad area that doesn't have good internet options or like the cables aren't strong enough or you're in like a rural area like I used to be and the internet's not the best there I would recommend um well move uh uh <laughs> one is move and um the other one is uh so there's hot spots there's uh you could probably find them online but there's an AT&T hotspot that's a few hundred dollars but you get unlimited data i believe i forget what it's called but i'll put it i'll i'll see if i can find it. i'll put it in the description but um to get that it's uh, um there's one for at&t and i think one's for sprints a lot of nomad um, my nomad people usually use those go rving around the world and they use those and it's usually really good um quality if you have good cell phone signal the other option is to go to a local library. They usually have decent internet. Uh, I would recommend being in a quiet place. So no Starbucks. Starbucks are usually very um, loud unless you have very quiet Starbucks. Uh, try to go to a library. Some libraries have these quiet rooms you can go into. Uh, um, if you're not allowed to do that for you know eight hours a day or however long you work, maybe six hours a day. Uh, I re recommend going to you know a, a co-working area. So co-working area is specifically for this. You actually rent a place monthly for a co-working area, and this is this big giant uh, building full of pretty much people who are working there remotely. You may have in one room you know ten people, and they're they're all kind of separated in different desks. You can bring your computer. You sometimes have computers on hand. Some of them. I don't have much experience with them. I've only been in like uh two. I've only been in really two. They usually have very good internet. Uh like pretty much the top of the line they have. Uh yeah, so those are your really options. I would really recommend you to work at your home, mainly because it's your home. I mean, you don't have to go anywhere, you don't have to drive anywhere. Um benefits of the remote job and you know you relax there. You can really work any way you want. If you want to work um, standing up, you can get a stained desk. You want to uh, work laying down, you can get a laptop and just lay on your on your bed or or a sofa. Comfortable doing that. I like doing that sometimes. Uh, I switch on and off. Um, you have so much things to do at home, so I recommend maybe spring for the extra internet and always do that uh, i think that's the, your best bet and if you're in a rural area um you know have really good internet move to a nearest uh city or or town 
and that's a little more populated and uh or if you're in a rural area um you can look at a uh, link verizon and comcast has uh, this map that shows the places with the best internet and then just move to the best internet you can still live in a rural area and get good internet well it's all for the job it's very worth it to move or spring for the actually like 30 bucks a month for a really good internet